Good morning, welcome to my channel. It is Friday and I hope you've all got a great weekend planned ahead. Right, what am I doing today? And break! So as you can see, I've got a handbrake lever and I've got back brakes with shoes. I've even got cables in there. So I need to find a way to connect those cables. Th those cables currently go to about there. So I need a way to connect both of those cables, left and right, right and left, to the middle, to the lever. Easy. Who am I kidding? It's never easy. <laughs> right, let me take the seats out first. I don't want to get them dirty. Right, let me show you what's going on. So, we have this adjusting bracket here. And obviously you just tighten that to adjust the tension so that you don't have to pull the cable lever all the way up. Now, my cables currently come to Right, if that's the back wheel there in the hub, the cable comes to about here. So I've got two cables coming to about this distance, to about there. So I really just have to remove this bracket, extend this bar down to about there, reattach that bracket, and hope that my cables will fit in those slots. But we won't know that until we jack up the car and crawl underneath. And yes, I wish I'd done this before I put the body back on. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Right, let's get underneath, see what the cables look like. Right, I crawled underneath and I pulled out one of my cables. So you can see the end is a little ball. And I took the clamp off the handbrake lever, which is a circle with a slot. So it will go in. However, this is obviously designed for a cylinder end, not a ball. So the danger there is that over time that would open up that gap and pull the cable out. Now I could weld a little tab across the top or make some sort of little clamp but for now I'm going to just close that gap a little bit to make it harder for it to, to stretch open and I'll order a couple of new cables. I mean these cables are they are pretty old but they're in reasonable condition so I'll use them for now and then I just need to work out an extension from that section to the, the lever. Also need to make a, a bracket to hold the two ends of the cables under the body. Probably attach that to the floor, that would be the easiest part. Not the easiest part, the easiest option <laughs> of a difficult job. Right, let me go do some thinking, planning, and I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm having to constantly revise my plan. So my original plan was rear wheels, cables, and then they come to a little bracket that would be welded, or sorry, bolted to the floor, the underside of the floor. 
And then the two cables would go through those holes there. Uh, for example, this section here, that would go through that bracket. And then this section here would get attached to the equalizer. Now I know what it's called. One there, one there. And then I would have an extending rod going from there up to the handbrake lever. However, ah, these cables, these ones here, they're not long enough. They stop about there. So obviously I can't have them together on, on a big clamp in the floor because it would be about uh, a foot and a half wide. So, next plan was going to be to just get new cables that would be long enough. However, that's not a thing. The, um, the original setup for these cars, the cable would actually go along there and then it would go round like that. And then there'd be an equalizer thing here. So that's not happening. <laughs> I was on Amazon and uh, I really couldn't find what I had, so, uh, what I needed. So plan 15C slash D. Uh, let's see, let's find some new wheel, wheel. Cable is going to come to there. Bracket mounted to the floor. And then the cable protrudes that far. And I will make a joining rod to go from there up to my equalizer, which will still be on the, the handbrake lever itself. So these will be solid rods with some sort of joining mechanism, joining the steel rod to the ball end. It's a plan so far. Let me see what I can come up with. So I had another one of my epiphanies. Epiphany, epiphany, epiphany. I had epiphany. Let me show you. I remembered that when I was stripping down the frame that I removed these ran random rods from the brake mechanism. Which is, I mean that one's bent but that's okay. But that's pretty much what I was talking about making. Something to join the handbrake lever to the rear brakes. So pretty much what I was thinking of doing, but this has already got the little ends and I'll, I'll be able to use them somehow. And the same on the other side was attached to a, a lever device thingy. So let me clean these up. I'll completely soak these in WD and see if I can get these freed up and then work out how I'm going to attach them all. Happy days. Right, these rods cleaned up really nice. Got these out, got these unscrewed without too much trouble, cleaned them up and it's as good as new under there. Oh, I do love this ancient steel. They really know, knew how to make stuff back then. So, next stage. I need to work out how I'm going to attach this, not this one, but this is the same as the one that's on the car. I need to try and attach that ball to this end. And I will be making... Bye bye. I'll be making something out of this stuff. Let me give you a close up of what I'm thinking. So if I was to draw... Down there. Roughly down a bit there. And there will be... A hole at one side, a hole at the other side. Those two holes, it will get folded in in itself and they'll go inside there. And I can use a pin or a nut and bolt or whatever to attach that. And the inside here will be where the handbrake cable ball will be going. So I need to cut a slot. Let's see, it is going to be... It'll probably fold in in itself at this point. So I need to cut the slot up to about there and then a hole big enough for the ball to go in and then the wire will slide down that uh, slot and the, the metal will, pr sorry, 
I'll go down to about there and then the ball will be on the inside of there and that should stop the ball from coming out. Let me cut it out and see if it works. Okay, Mark 1 handbrake cable linkage. So I made this thing. Okay, so that will go in there. Nut and bolt through there. And then the cable goes in that hole and then round there. I am not convinced. I mean, in theory it'll work, but I'm just wondering if that metal is going to be strong enough. You know, how hard am I going to pull that cable? Will it stretch that gap? So, what I'm going to do... I mean, design-wise it's good, it's just... Uh, is it strong enough? Right, what we're going to do is... I need to get a couple of those clips. I mean, I can make... I can make the brackets for the other side to, to hang, but I need those sort of clips that go through that groove. So I'm going to nip out to my auto parts store and get a couple of those clips and see if he's even got something like that. Save me worrying about that. I'll be back shortly. Right, car quest, don't let me down. <laughs> right, they have my clips. These little guys. So they're for the where the the cable will be attached to the underside of the floor. But all I could find were these things. I mean it's still gonna be much stronger than what I've made. I still have to adapt it to fit them, but it's all they had. You need to make it work. Right, home. Right, we're back. Right, I was thinking about this all the way home. So where's my cable? Make sure it goes in, which it does. So that goes in there, nice. So now I need to work out how to attach that to this end here. So what I'm thinking, if I weld a plate from there to there and extend it up to about there, with a hole in it, then it can just go through that. And that will strengthen the whole thing and it will make it oval. And I'll still be able to get the cable out if I want. So that's the plan. Weld a plate, I've got that thick steel. Weld it from there to there, drill a hole, attach that, and that's that part done. And I need to work in the brackets to mount these things. Okay, on with it. My goodness, I'm not getting anything done today. Well, it's officially night time. I think I've got a handbrake. I'll let you show you what it looks like underneath first and then we'll do a wee test, okay? Join me on my journey into the underbelly of a 36 cup. Okay. I'm shiggling, that's why the camera's got up and down. Right, so. Cable comes out the drum. Goes round there. Goes to that bracket that I made. Okay, so it's secured on the other side with one of those clips and then I've got the joining, the cable joiner there and then I've got the steel rod going into the car and it's the same on the other side so I wouldn't bother showing you that Oh come it's well, there it's there Exactly the same Right, let me shiggle out and show you the inside So it turns out that that hole that I made ages ago is completely useless I had to drill two large holes there and there and they're still not in quite the right place they need to become this way a little bit because as you'll see when I test the handbrake it does squeak a little but that's how it's going to work and I had to obviously miss the the seat bracket holes so I think they're okay there oh <laughs> camera's going to sleep well the tripod is Right, let me show you a little squeak test, shall we? So that is purely 
those uh, metal bars squeaking their way through those holes. Right, let's see if it stops the wheels, eh? one wheel it half works I guess I just need to tighten that cable up a little bit but I think we've got a handbrake just needs adjustment and it's only like it's only eight o'clock I'm still going to try and get this video up tonight if not it'll be Saturday morning right I suppose I better tidy up and have a shower because I've been lying underneath a car in and out up and down all day hope you appreciate all the effort I've gone to Oh, and you'll get to see the back lights at night time, so let me clear up and then I'll do the I'll do the end sequence, okay? Right folks, thanks for joining me today. It was a grind, but the handbrake is something that really needed done and I, I, I just dreaded doing it because I knew I was going to be lying under the car all day and I'm waffling again. <sighs> see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.